Motion envelopes are Creole parametric parts that represent the volume of space components move through when you run a mechanism, and they can be used as space claims. So I have an assembly open. If I zoom in on some of the glyphs in the model tree, you can see that we have mechanism connections. Let's run the mechanism. I'll go to Applications, Mechanism. And you can see from the symbols on the computer screen that we have both connections and motors, and there's already a defined analysis. So I can click on it and then click the green flag to run the analysis. Here you can see how the amusement park ride operates, basically spinning people around in little teacups. Now that the analysis is complete, we can go to the playbacks. And I'll hit the play button. And in the animate dialog box, you can crank up the speed and hit the play button just to see it over and over again. But I'm going to close this and instead go to the playbacks icon where you have a few other options. For example, you can export this to an FRA file if you want to use this as an animation in other movie software. But I'm going to use the icon on the right to create a motion envelope. And when I click on the button, I get a dialog box. And by default, it's using all the components in the assembly. And there are a few that I don't want to use. So if I click on the pick icon, everything is highlighted. And I can hold down the control key and then left click on the components that I don't want included in the motion envelope. Then click OK. Now we're down to 16 components. Here we have the quality level. I usually start with a quality level of six or so. And I get this warning here that, hey, if you increase the quality level, it's going to take longer to regenerate and it's going to be a bigger file, which is sort of like no duh. I really should turn this option off using the config option motion envelope alert and set it to no. Let me click OK out of there. And like I mentioned, I usually start with a level of about six. I believe nine or 10 is the highest. And the way that the motion envelope will be generated is by using tessellated triangles, essentially. And the higher the quality level, the smaller the size of the tessellated surfaces. For the output format, I'm going to generate a regular standard part. Here's the output file name. You can change it if you want. And I'm using my default part template. I'll click the OK button. And now it is generating. And now we are back. And in the message area, it tells me that the file has been saved. Let me cancel out of here and then close the playbacks dialog box. Let's hit the open button. And it should be in my current folder. Oh, let me try my working directory. Whatever I said that. There it is. There's my working directory. And I will open up the file. It's warning me, hey, if I open up this file without saving my motion results, they'll be lost. I don't care, so I'm not going to save that file. And so here you can see what the motion envelope looks like. So the volume of space that it is going through. And you can see again those tessellated surfaces on there. Let's close this for a second. One thing that I also want to show you, let me go back to that particular file. Uh, let's close out of mechanism mode. You can assemble that component in here to leave it as a space claim. I'll just click the assemble button, double click on the file, and if you use the default constraint, it'll locate it where it was supposed to be. You can see a few places where it's peeking out. If I increase the quality level, it'll be sure to capture that. So that is how you create a motion envelope. I'm going to show you a second example. So a few years ago, I worked on a secret government project where we created this advanced next generation robot. And the problem is when the robot entered into its panic mode, it just became this uncontrollable killing machine. Let me show you what that looks like. So this was the robot that we generated and jump over to mechanism mode. Let me show you the panic mode. 
And again, we can create a motion envelope from that. I'll go to the playback button. Here we have our result set for panic mode and create the motion envelope. I'm going to use all the components. It's still got my quality level of six. Let's click the OK button to generate. The envelope has been saved. Let's cancel out of the motion envelope and close the playbacks. Let's hit the open button and go to my working directory. Here is the motion envelope. I'm not going to save the results. And there you see essentially the death zone for this killer robot. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, write a comment, and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.